Every April, our family celebrates three birthdays within a span of 10 days. This year, instead of parties or presents, we decided to celebrate by taking a trip. We'd spent the past year reading all of the books and watching all of the movies, so the time was right to visit the wizarding world of Harry Potter. After our morning flight to Orlando, we headed straight to the Leaky Cauldron for our first taste of butterbeer. From there, we made our way to Gringotts Bank to exchange some of our muggle money for galleons, sickles, and nuts. We have authorized Gringotts banknotes, especially for muggle money Our last order of official business to set us up for a proper stay in the wizarding world was a trip to Ollivander's wand shop. Are you going to spend your galleons and sickles on it? And then, with those housekeeping tasks out of the way, we were free to enjoy the rest of our time in Diagon Alley. After a good look around Diagon Alley, we headed to King's Cross Station and made the trip to Hogsmeade. Today, we will be transforming animals into water goblins. Like so. One, two, three. As for you two gentlemen, I just hope you realize how fortunate you are. Not many first-year students could take on a fully grown mountain troll and live to tell the tale. I can teach you how to bewitch the mind. I can tell you how to block a vein, groom glory, and put a stopper in death. I can teach you how to bewitch the mind. I can tell you how to block a vein, groom glory, and put a stopper in
Okay, okay, so you can probably tell from the video that Harry Potter is really Mallory's jam and not Liam's. But don't worry about him. He found his own calling at Universal Studios, and that was with SpongeBob SquarePants. 